Welcome to the Runtime Era, the place where programming begins. In this video, I will be telling you four best resources to learn JavaScript for free. Yes, you heard that right. Because everyone knows that for any web application, JavaScript plays an important role because the core functionality of your web application is totally reliable on JavaScript. But while learning JavaScript, there are so much problems faced by the students. There are problems such as where I can find the basics question to practice JavaScript or what is the best way to practice the basics of JavaScript. Some cool interface so that whenever you are learning something new and if you are getting stuck at somewhere, we feel like I should stop that. But the cool interface of your websites and the guidance makes you more interested in that subset. Same time, if you are getting bored, don't worry. You will be having a community with you that will be helping you out if you need some in help in, in your code. So these are the best websites I can guarantee you to learn a JavaScript. So without wasting time, let's get started. So the first and the foremost website is called exorcism.org. This is one of the best websites I came across because this website is not only meant for learning JavaScript, but there are numerous languages you can learn. If you go in the option called as continue learning on your track, so you will find a 67 languages to master. Can you believe that? 67 languages free of cost with some cool interface. You can see here, I can find a JavaScript. There is all bash, C sharp, C, C++, coffee script, pobol. There are so many languages, 67 languages to master. So since we are making this video for JavaScript, so I will be opening a JavaScript programming languages. So if you go over here, you can see, you will see your progress, how much you're doing for a particular day. Now, since we're at day one, what I will do is I will simply click over here, go to Hello World exercise. And it's a basic things because if you are starting with any programming language, you always start with Hello World program. So simply I will click over here and you will see one of the most important part of this website is a video editorial, which is totally a free yeah, course. Well, we don't need to pay anything for this. And you have to read all this document present over here. Once you read it, just click in start in editor. And you will be redirected to this editor to type the code. It means whatever the topic they are teaching, you can simply practice over here by the question they are given to us. Now, so for just in case I'm unable to solve this code, what to do now? From where I should ask for the help? Don't worry, this website has a cool features that is stuck and get him. Here you can find a best community. If you click on this Discord, you will be redirected to join the Discord community of Exorcism. There you can ask any question to the people and on the people who are online, which will be the random people, they will surely answer your question. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Like, this is totally free of cost. You don't need to pay anything for this. And for this, you have the forum where you can read the documentation of that particular language. There are 67 languages as it is mentioned for this particular website. So give it a try. This is one of the best websites I came across that is called as Exorcism. Now less time to move on to the second website. So our second website is JS Challenger. Yes, you heard that right. That is JS Challenger. This is one of the most simplest but coolest website I can guarantee. This is from basic to advanced but this website is particularly related to the JavaScript. As we saw our previous website, that is Exorcism, that is related to the 67 languages. But this JS Challenger is basically meant for JavaScript itself. So what you can do is, you can simply click it here and start. Once you start, you will get an option called as, are you beginner? If it is, you need to start from the first chapter, right? And which are those first chapter? That is variable, booleans, operators, strings, how to declare conditions, looping and all the stuff. So these are the basics of JavaScript. If you are a beginner, you can simply start from the first chapter. Now suppose just in case you are already aware about the basics of JavaScript, but you want to move to the advanced section, such as JavaScript DOM and JavaScript advanced level questions or some functionalities. So simply you can come scroll down over here and you will find a JavaScript DOM exercise where you will be facing some problems related to the JavaScript DOM. Otherwise, if you need overall practice, including basics and DOMs and some advanced level, you can simply click it on over JavaScript practice. Now, just in case, I will be clicking over here, that is start as a first chapter, since we are considering that everyone is beginner in JavaScript. So if you click on the next, 
you will click to the next model. If you click on the start and you will start displaying the statement. One of the cool feature of this website is it will not show you a long paragraph which will take a lot more time to read the paragraph. It will simply give you one or two lines which makes a really simplistic to read that statement and type the code or learn the things related to the JavaScript. So here we can see is so before taking talking about the variables they have said we'll look at the console statement. So I click on continue then if I click on run I can easily get the output over here. Again, I click over is continue and it is go on doing means further topics related to the variables and whatever the topics which are on the left hand side. Here, even here also you can choose which topic directly you want to jump on. Now suppose right now I'm present at variables, I want to go to the loop. So I simply click on a loop and it will take me the loop chapter. But the point is before you complete the loop, it must complete the previous chapters, right? That is until unless I don't complete variables, booleans will not be unlocked. So same time, suppose you're really good with basics, you want to go to the DOM, so click on a DOM, you will be getting all the chapters related to the DOM. Isn't this a beautiful website, which is free of cost. So this was our second website that is called JS Challenger. Now let's move on to the third website of JavaScript. So the third website for learning JavaScript is Frontend Mentor. So this is the website, but only a point about this website is not all the courses are free. Some courses are paid and some courses are free. But the point is the courses which are free, that courses are good enough for us. Means we don't need to go that much advanced so that we need to pay for those course. No. So whatever the free material they have provided in this website, those websites are good enough for us. So here you can see if there are a number of courses available for us. And the one thing I found about this website is this is not the courses given by this particular website. What I found is up to some other organizations for, for example, free code camp, beginners, Java, egghead. So there are some different external third party, uh, organization trying to contribute on this website. This is what I found because there is not a courses related to the single organization. I'm able to see there are different things. Let's see, you can see is the code academy, Treehouse, Udacity. So third party organizations are trying to contribute on this website. It's called as a front end mentor and the name itself says that it is a mentor. So you can see the number of websites. For example, if you want to learn CSS, it is free. JavaScript 30, it is free. Flexbox, it is free. But some of the courses such as Advanced React or GraphQL, you need to pay a particular amount for this. So this video as it is related to the specific JavaScript. So here I can see HTML, CSS and JavaScript, which is totally free of cost, which is mainly run by a free code can. And I believe that everyone knows that free code can and use some quality education stuff. It is a wider channel which is mainly used on YouTube as well to learn many programming languages. So when I click over here, I simply click on free code cam, HTML, CSS and JavaScript course which is totally free of course. So once I click on that page, I get redirected over here and as you can see, we will get mentored by the people who are working in the companies Apple, Google, Microsoft, Spotify, etc. So just click it, get started, it's free. So once you click on it, you will get redirected to the new page, which contains a topics of JavaScript. So once you get redirected, and you can see a total number of particular languages, which are free of cost. So responsive web design certification. And the most important point is it is not just a website to learn something in documentation and write the code. It is a website which gives you a certain certification. So it is one of the big advantage to add those certification to your LinkedIn or your resume so that one person can come to know that, okay, this is the language you have some kind of knowledge or mastery on, on it. So since I want a JavaScript and data structures using JavaScript, so I'll simply click on it. And if you scroll on a bit, we we'll find 113 topics related to JavaScript. So comment your JavaScript code, how to comment a JavaScript code, how to declare the variables. Say for example, I click on it, so I'll find. And simply what I need to do is I'll read it and write a code directly. So this is the best. Right? In computer data science, anything we need in computers, JavaScript provides eight different types of media. See, it is giving you information and at the same time, it is asking you to practice a side by side. So this is the best way, right? Studying, implementing, studying, implementing, rather than studying and then going back and implementing. They have given a proper interface so that you can study and write the code at the same time. So this is the best website and I can guarantee about it. You can simply run and reset this lesson, see them perform your own activities as well. 
So I hope so this makes the sense. Uh, free code camp that is frontend mentor. Do check this website as well. So we will be moving to our last website of the learning JavaScript for free. So this is our the final website to learn a JavaScript for free that is called lesson learn JavaScript dot online. So again, this is one of the simplest website I can say because this website is only meant to learn JavaScript. The point is uh, half of the lessons are totally free of cost, but uh, some advanced level topic in JavaScript are free of are not free. They ask us to pay some amount. So how does this website looks like when you go into this website, they ask us to log in through a GitHub profile. So I have already logged in through the GitHub profile. Once you log in, you will see such kind of interface. So simply click on continue. So once you click on the continue, you will directly redirect it to learn a JavaScript. As you can see at the bottom left corner, you will find a content. So here you will be getting your topic names. As you can see, uh, till 7th chapter all are free, but from 8th chapter, we need to pay a certain amount. But again, we don't need to pay because some previous website, we saw all the content free of cost. The reason why I included this website in this video, because few of the features I really liked about. For example, suppose I'm going at the first lesson. This year, these are the simply prerequisite details about that particular language or lesson. So simply click on the next. Once you click on, you will start seeing a basics of JavaScript or topic wise. Here you can check. Okay, first and basics of function, basics of sum, and then again, the whatever the sequence you have mentioned, it goes from sequentially. Uh, the cool feature I liked about, see for example, this I consider, this is the considered as the important line. So simply I'll select it. Now again, I will get options. Do I need to save it as notes? Save and add a personal comment as well. You can add a personal comment as well. Suppose I click on save to my notes. So if once I click on, here you will find at the top right corner, if I click over here at three dots, you will find your note. So you can see, I have noted this as my notes and you will also getting an option to print it. So when you get your own PDF or own notes, you can simply print it for your revision purpose. So this is the best website I feel like. Okay, once you click on next, it will take you to write the code. Means whatever the documentation you have read previous two pages, same they ask us to implement over here. So again, suppose you want to save this, so simply select it and run this code, you will find a output over here. And again, instructions or the browsers, uh, here they will provide a video to know the solution for this problem. So I hope so you understood these are the best four websites to learn JavaScript absolutely for free. Yes, there are some websites which ask us for little bit of money, but we don't need to pay it. So just in case if you are new to our channel, do hit the subscribe button so that you can come across all the new features of computer science, placement and coding related stuff. As I can see the statistic, most of the people are not subscribing. Please do do hit the subscribe button because it gives me a lot of motivation to create such content for you. Till then, have a happy code.